Hello, hello, and welcome to RuPaul's Drag Race Rejudged, where today, in preparation for the UK vs. the World Rejudged video coming out this Saturday, I will be talking about Drag Race's history of eliminating frontrunners on All-Star seasons. Please let me know your thoughts on this topic in the comments. The first true frontrunner to be eliminated on All-Stars was Ben De La Creme on All-Stars 3, Episode 6. Ben De La Creme and Bibi Zahara Benet had won the challenge, Ben De La Creme won the lip sync and eliminated herself. This completely threw the rest of the season into a complete tailspin, and viewership and ratings for the season completely dropped, and not just because of the jury twist. People were legitimately upset that the almost only frontrunner had left the season, and looking at the track records at that point, that was a fair assessment. Immediately following Ben De La Creme's elimination, we had Trixie Mattel with one win and two bottoms, Kennedy Davenport with one win and three bottoms, Shangela with two wins and two bottoms, Morgan, who had just returned, and BB, the only actual frontrunner with two wins and no bottoms. While Shangela and Trixie were able to shine in this later part of the season, it should still be noted that BB was the only legitimate contender track record-wise following Ben De La Creme's elimination, which is why, in this case, I will say that eliminating the frontrunner made the season worse. However, that is not the case for the next season. The second time a clear frontrunner was eliminated was Manila Luzon on episode 8 of All Stars 4. Manila was viewed as a huge threat going into the season and had already won three challenges up until this point. Monet Exchange and Naomi win the makeover and both choose Manila to go home with Naomi winning the lip sync. Manila is eliminated, but in this situation, the entire competition is not sent into a tailspin. After Manila was eliminated, there were still three fan-favorite contestants doing well in the season. Monet Exchange had three wins and one bottom, Trinity the Tuck had three wins and one bottom, and Mo Hart had two wins and one bottom. While Naomi and Latrice were still struggling at this point, there were still three legitimate contenders who people could still root for because they were doing well in the competition. While in All-Star 3, Ben De La Creme had won five of the six challenges up until that point, Manila had won three of a possible seven, so the playing field was a lot more open, so in All-Stars 4, I would say that eliminating a frontrunner worked. The next major instance of a frontrunner being eliminated was Jimbo on UK vs. The World Episode 3, which was the Rusical. Janie JK and Pangina Heels had just won the Rusical, Jimbo had won the two previous challenges, and this was her first time in the bottom, and she was unfortunately sent home. However, this twist, while it got people mad, still worked. Jimbo, up until that point, had won two of three possible challenges and was doing really well in the season. However, Janie JK and Pangina were both also doing really well in the competition. Following Jimbo's elimination, Blue, Mo, and Baga had all been only safe. Juju B had been in the bottom twice. However, Janie had two wins and a bottom. Pangina had two wins and no bottoms. They were both still clear contenders for this crown. While Pangina was still the clear front runner, it didn't feel like one person had been completely running away with the competition and it was just kind of a race to the end at that point. So in this instance, I would say that eliminating the frontrunner worked and did make the season better. However, that completely falls apart after the very next episode. Bag of Chips and Blue Hydrangea win the Snatch Game, leaving the rest of the queens in the bottom. Specifically, Pangina and Janie. 
Blue Hydrangea wins the lip sync, and Pangina is eliminated. Now, we don't really have that many front runners left. Janie has now been in the bottom twice and only has two wins, which is far less impressive than her previous track record. And spoiler alert here, never places outside of the bottom for the rest of the season. This pretty much leaves Blue Hydrangea as the only frontrunner left standing after Pangina's elimination. As I discussed before, frontrunner eliminations are great TV and really entertaining when there are still queens left to pick up the pieces and carry on as strong competitors. That doesn't work as well when the strongest competitor left has been safe three times and won a single challenge. I would say that for this instance and for the season overall, eliminating the frontrunners failed and in fact made the season worse. Please let me know if you agree or disagree with any of this in the comments. I'm sure a lot of people will have opinions on this. Thank you for watching, and that is all I have for today. So, do you want more non-Emmy-nominated content? Well then you should subscribe for more gay s**t.